Power outage following last December's ice storm wouldn't have been so bad had there not been so many down trees and limbs on the power lines. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Sarah Swistak. The Lansing Board of Water and Light is now on a mission to get as many trees trimmed as possible as part of the 54 things it promised to do to reduce future restoration times. But as the crews tell Alyssa Fenske, they have their work cut out for them. Cutting down more than they have in the past, tree trimming crews aren't taking any risks. The trees have gotten so big they've overlapped, you know, the wires and stuff. They took down the whole tree in front of Jerry Brockwell's home. He and his neighbor agree it's for the best. It's a good idea to cut it down because it's going to save a lot of problems. It seems cleaner, like the dead limbs are gone, the dead tree is gone. The neighborhood seems a little cleaner. Not only are they cutting down more, the number of tree trimming crews for Lansing's Board of Water and Light has tripled. There are now at least 18 crews working every day. But after the ice storm, we learned a little bit. We learned lessons from what happened. And so we've taken on a more proactive approach. An approach the BWL hopes will prevent outages like the one in December from happening again. Early in the long run, it's going to save money because, you know, we're preventing lines from coming down, which costs a lot more than trimming the trees in the first place. Your neighborhood may or may not be the next one these crews end up coming to. This is part of a five year cycle. We used to be at a five to seven year cycle and after the storm we've increased crews to work on a five year rolling cycle. Neighbors are supposed to be notified before any trimming takes place. They'll get a card on their door if we don't speak to them personally and we'll tell them what's going on. If, if trees will be cut down completely or if they're just going to be trimmed. Crews say they will work with homeowners if they want anything specific to be done. All they have to do is come out and ask. That was Alyssa Fenske reporting. In addition to receiving a notice, the BWL is also marking trees with a dot or an X if they're going to be trimmed or cut down. Glencairn neighborhood in East Lansing will be one of the next neighborhoods to be trimmed.